Good morning, Great Latrobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm Catherine Heasley alongside Paige Lesko, and these are your morning announcements. Pink Out shirts will be sold by cheerleaders during all lunches this week. The cost is $10 and proceeds will benefit breast cancer research. Greater Latrobe's Pink Out will be Friday, October 14th for the last home game versus Franklin Regional. There will be numerous college visits this month during all lunches in the cafeteria. There will be an instant decision day for Mount Aloysius today. Students must have the transcripts, SATs, and or ACTs for Instant Decision Day. Please sign up with, Ms. with Mrs. Holt in the 910 office to set up an appointment. The University of, of Pittsburgh at Greensburg will be here on Friday. If you have any interest in these schools, be sure to stop by and speak with a representative. The first meeting of the GSA Club will be on Thursday, October 20th, immediately after school in the 910 office. New members are welcome. Are you looking to make a difference in the world? Join our school's NHS program as we collect items to send to Haiti. After the destruction of Hurricane Matthew, the people of Haiti are in dire need of basic, everyday items. In each home room, there will be a collection of these items. The home room who brings in the most items by October 18th will receive a donut breakfast on us. Are you looking for someplace scary to go this Halloween season? Check out the free Twin Lakes Park Hobgoblin Hike. It's a half-mile haunted walk through the spookiest places in the park. Over 100 monsters and ghouls will be waiting to scare you. The hike will be held on Saturday, October 22nd at Twin Lakes Park from 7 to 9 p.m. There will be a SAD Club meeting on Monday, October 17th at 2.30 in Mrs. Houck's room. We will be discussing officer positions, Red Ribbon Week, and the state conference. If you cannot attend, please see Mrs. Houck prior to the meeting. Attention college-bound seniors. The FAFSA is now available online. On October 26th, a representative from FIA will conduct a workshop to assist parents and students in completing the application. This workshop will be held in the Senior High Library starting at 6 p.m. You must RSVP with Mrs. Kuhn to participate. Overly's Country Christmas is searching for a select group of individuals to make their Christmas village more magical than ever. They are currently in need of entry-level employees to help volunteers. <laughs> if you are interested, please apply by calling 724-423 1400 or email to info at overlease.com. If emailing, include information about yourself, what curriculum you are studying, any school groups or community groups you participate in, hobbies, etc. This is a great introduction to the field of nonprofits and could possibly lead to a lifetime career in benefiting the community. Five positions are available that can be filled by several part time employees. Positions include traffic directors and a Kids Express train operator. Applicants must be 16 of 16 years of age or older and be able to work with the general public and have outdoor attire. Applicants under the age of 18 must provide working papers. The schedule is November 18th through January 1st. Hours are Sunday through Thursday, 5.15 p.m. to 9 o'clock p.m. and Friday and Saturday, 5.15 p.m. to 10 p.m. Hours are weather dependent and may be extended on high traffic days. See Ms. Hager in the 11, in the 12, 11 12 office for more details if you are interested. Did you know that creativity is one of the main components of 21st century learning and that all careers, no matter what field you choose to pursue, will require you to be creative and innovative? Any student interested in learning about careers in art, design, and creativity are invited to attend an informational meeting with Mrs. Page and artist Martha Murphy during seminar period on Thursday, October 20th in room A4, located in the junior high building. Together, they will present a list of over 300 careers a list of art and design schools, and we'll also set aside time to talk with the visiting artist about what it is like to have your passion also be your career. If you would like to attend this meeting, please submit your name and grade level to Mrs. Balco or Mrs. Page as soon as possible. Space is limited. Now here's Nick Malizia with the sports report. Good morning, Wildcats. It's time to hear about your daily sports. The cross-country team begins their WCCA tournament today. The boys' soccer team takes on the Henfield Spartans tonight on Rossi Field. Finally, girls volleyball heads down to Norwin High School for their match tonight at 7.30. That's all for sports. Thank you and go Wildcats. Underclassmen and teacher makeup photos will be taken on Thursday, October 20th. Passes will be distributed in home rooms on Tuesday, October 18th. A wrestling meeting for the 9th graders only will be held in the Connecting Corridor at 7.25 a.m. on Tuesday, October 18th. All current wrestlers and new, re new interested wrestlers should attend this meeting. Physical and research forms as well, as well as weight certification and important dates will be discussed. 
Check into homeroom as soon as you get to school and meet Coach Schmeling in the connecting corridor by 725. Now here is Zach Koska with the weather report. Thanks, Kathy. Some showered to begin with, but the weather will clear out soon. Today we are looking at a high of 56 and a low of 35 with rain showers. Tomorrow expect partly cloudy skies with a high of 60 and a low of 41. Saturday we will have a high of 66 and a low of 50 with partly cloudy skies. It's starting to feel like fall. That's all for weather. Back to you. Now here's reporter Alexandria Potter with a special report. As we all know, Arnold Palmer, our local legend, has contributed to this community greatly. Arnold was a great golfer to many, but an even better person to all. Arnie is known all over the U.S. He was awarded over 20 awards for golf in his life, starting in the early 1950s. Arnold's father taught him to golf at the country club where he worked. Arnold later became the owner of that very country club. Arnie was labeled one of the greatest players in sports history. He was one of the best golfers to ever live. Arnold made many special connections during his life. Even some local businesses have taken notice, saying things like, Arnie, you will be sadly missed, and God bless Arnold Palmer. He has been and is being appreciated everywhere. Sports Illustrated has had him on several covers. Books by various authors have also been published about Arnie. Arnold accomplished a lot in his life. He later used his life savings to better his community, our community. He donated a lot of his time and money to our high school. Arnold, having gone to Greater Latrobe, knew it was the right thing to do to help a place that meant so much to him and a place where he means so much to us. We thank him for all that he has done for us and for everyone. Reporting for WCAT-TV, I'm Alexandria Potter. For WCAT-TV, this has been Paige Lesko and Catherine Heasley. Thanks for watching and have a great day.